I'm Aita Freiman, your happiness doctor and the founder of the concept 3H Food, Happy Healthy and Hedonic Food. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make beautiful raw chocolate cake. It is so easy, it is so fast, especially if you have the good kit machines like I have. So in this video, we are going to need kind of the good um, food processor. I have Magimix here and we are going to need a high speed and good blender and I have my Vitamix here. If you don't have these great machines, you can as well make this uh, cake. It's just going to take a bit more time, but anyway, that is not a reason, an excuse not to do this beautiful cake. This is going to be the chocolate cake with a pinch of orange paste. So let's go. First, we're going to make the chocolate base for the cake. We are going to do it with 150 grams of almonds, which I pre-soaked and then dried, so they are totally dry now. And I put it through 30 grams of rice pops. I could have put it like 170, 80 or 200 uh, grams of just almonds, but by reducing almonds, I'm actually allowing the, the fat content in this uh, recipe. That's why I'm using these rice pops. Uh, and we're just going to put it in, with, uh, in this food processor with this S-shaped cutter. So just like this. It's going to be in real time so that you can see how fast it is. So as a sticker, we are going to add 150 grams of fresh pitted, unpitted dates. So I remove the pits out and that's it. Um, and But first we're just going to blend these almonds with the rice. That's it, we don't want to go deep in that process, as you can see, so these are just smaller parts. We do so to avoid this oil and the almonds to run out. Then we are going to add dates, so unpitted dates, let me just check, yes, I said 150 grams. Then we are going to add a small pinch of salt, because the salt is always, you know, making the better taste of the chocolate. And then we are going to add the four big spoons of cacao powder, or you can use carob powder. Today I'm going to make a combination, so it's going to be like two spoons of cacao powder and two spoons of carob. Cacao powder is contained in coffee, so if you want to skip it, the carob powder is really going to be a good replacement. And that's it, we are just going to blend it now in the food processor. You don't want to go and to over blend it, because if you're over blending because of the heating, the oil from the almonds is going to go out, start going out. That's why you have to be careful. In this Magimix machine, really, it takes less than one minute. So I'm going to show you in the real time so that you can see. just to show you how it looks like. Of course, this is the recipe, but you you don't have to stick to the recipe while like 100% because everything is depending on how soft your dates are, are they so fresh, if you soak them, uh, how, how dry your almonds are, are they containing a lot of fat or maybe just less of fat, if they are too dry, um, how is the structure of your cacao powder, so it's going to be in different, you're going to be in different situations. Now you see you have like powdered mess uh, mixture, and but I want it to be sticky because I want to press it in my um, cake mold. So therefore, I'm going to continue with the process. If nothing happens, I mean, it will happen for sure after some time, but if nothing happens, that what you can do, you can always add up some water inside. By adding water, the, the mixture is going to be 
um, softer immediately. But just add like small pieces, small amounts of water time by time. If you're having this magic mix, then you can add water with this upper part of the top. So let's continue. I will do the pulse for the few times. And as you, as you can see, but my mixture is still pretty, you know, uh, not sticky, not combining. So therefore I'm going to continue. It's better when I hold it. texture is uh, good enough so that you can press it and I think it is now you see but you can try and press it if you can if you're able to make some balls from it then it's ready like here you see a small ball so we're going to press the, this mixture and it's going to be fine you just do not want to over process this mixture because the oil is starting to go, to go out and uh, then it's not going to be the great texture Okay, so we just now put everything in the cake melt. Shake it a bit so that your mixture is even. And now just press. Just you can do it with your hands. If you want your mixture to be kind of the you know puffy and not too sticky, you don't have to overpress it. Really, about this cake with raw cakes, it's all up to you. Once you get used in the procedure, really, it's endless. I mean, there are so many combinations. You can basically put whatever you have um, in your house. But you will have this video about you know what are the main ideas of making raw cakes with any ingredients you have like this so the mixture is ready i just pressed it and we're going to leave it aside while we make the cream and it is super easy to make a cream and the main actor in the cream is our cashews so for these purposes i'm going to need my blender come here my vitamix okay so um first you have to think about your cake in advance so the day before which is what i did yesterday so I've soaked, pre-soaked 400 grams of cashews and now I have to actually, you know, dry them and to wash them well. Just put in the strainer and just wash them like this and we can just put it in our blender. So this fat, because it is containing almonds and it's containing some cashews, is going to be high fat. So, or eat this food uh, because it is really great taste. It's vegan, it's raw, no butter containing, you know, no animal products and other things. But still, it does contain some fat. So you don't want to eat whole cake at once. So after adding some cashews, and they are going to be super creamy. It is important to um, soak them, but you already know why soaking is important. So I'm not going to go into that uh, subject too much. Uh, you can even do it if you don't have this uh, super powerful uh, speed blender because if they are soaked, they are going to be much softer and it's be going to be easier for you to make the cream. Okay, now uh, we're going to add one and a half deciliters of water. And again, we're going to check how the cream goes and if needed, we're going to add some more water. Just a small, small, small pinch of salt, you know, just to add this special note to this um, chocolate taste. Then we have to put uh, again four teaspoons of cacao and I'm going to combine again cacao powder like two spoons of cacao powder and two spoons of carob powder. 
just allow this uh, coffee. Okay, and then you have to add 400 grams of agave or um, honey or any kind of liquid that you like, liquid sweetener. I'm going to do it like this, so 150 grams. And of course you have to you know, try it after and then to see how it goes. What do you say? Okay. I guess that's it. Okay. And then what else do we have to add? Yes, um, you can add some oils inside, but don't or put oils too many, too much oils because it's going going to be too fatty. So what you can do, what I like to do, I just put few cacao buttons, so cacao butter buttons. It, enough is like 50 grams, so you can just add a few of them. Um, or you can add some cacao paste, you know, so it is good to combine. So in total, it's going to be like 50 grams of cacao paste. Um, if you do not have a speed blender, then you should melt this cacao butter and cacao paste and then just put in the melted thing. But if you have this speed blender like, like Vitamix, then it's fine. You can just add it inside because it's going to warm everything by, by, um, by working and the cacao butter is going to melt itself. And the secret now is that I'm using this essential oil, orange. Uh, I'm really using only just young living oils. So maybe like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drops of orange oil because this uh, Young Living is really great and you already know it, I guess so you can always buy them throughout my link and have some discounts. Um, they are totally edible, so that's pretty fine. And now we're just going to blend. And I'm going to be here in order to see how does it go. And I'm going to prepare a bit more water if I will have to add some more water. And of course, I have to use my spatula to take out this cream so um, you can either if you have these programs you can put you can put your blender on any kind of program smoothie or whatever or spritz i'm for this purpose is going to use this um, uh, program for the spritz it's one minute <laughs> Immediately I see, you see that it is like too hard um, uh, texture and I'm going to add some more water and repeat. how it's liquid it is going out but it is not like running out so we are just going to put it like this on our cake base use your spatula of course to to take everything out because it is such a great cream you don't want to lose it and you don't want to you know take it away you just want to, to use every every drop or I'm going to eat it after I finish this video. So I might leave a bit of the cream for later for me. <laughs> okay. And then when it's done, you can just shake it a bit. And that's it guys. You have your chocolate cake. And uh, now I suggest for you just to keep it here in the room temperature for at least half an hour or so to say. And then after that, you want to put it in a, in a freezer. So you can leave it overnight or at least for two, three hours, four hours to, to really freeze totally. It is best for these cakes to freeze first. And then I'm going to show you how to remove this, um, this mold and how to decorate your chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. 